right so i'm just done with my block it brought me all the way from um southern massachusetts into rhode island warwick rhode island uh, to be exact it's about 50 miles away uh, from where i'm supposed to be going back now uh home so this flex thing is sometimes kind of ridiculous uh for a shift that was supposed to be starting at 6.15 to 9.15. So that's about three hours of a shift. Um, and they take me 50 miles away from the starting point. It's kind of ridiculous at this point. Uh, but every once in a while you get some of those where they take you um, way out of your way and the stop time for your block actually catches you uh, while you're still in the field trying to deliver uh, it's what happened today so if you count in an hour of driving to because now it's showing me about 53 miles going back up north uh, but coming down here too took me almost an hour of driving to this place so it leaves you with a little bit of a, um about an hour for you to get rid of all the stuff that you've got to get rid of, um, of all your stops. And for this one, I had 35 stops. So luckily they were seated right. So they were not too distant. And that's why I was actually able to uh, uh, finish them still within the time frame. And uh, now I'm borrowing myself an hour of driving back all the way up to uh, uh, Massachusetts where I come from but it's it's every once in a while you get some of those that take you out of your way um, now the only time it actually becomes frustrating if these are in a row for example if you get these say six seven times in a row which happens it has happened to me multiple times um, where I get crappy kind of shifts like these uh, in a row. Now, I should have known this was going to be like this because usually for three-hour shifts, I do them for $69, or pretty $70. But this was $80. So uh, a difference of just $10 could make a whole difference in the way um, the spectrum of how this work looks. Now, my point today, though, is not that because we've seen enough of those. We've seen enough of uh, less than $100 bad weather, five-hour shifts. I've done multiples of those because I've been doing this full time now uh, for quite some time. But the question that I get mostly from you guys and everybody else around me is, is it worth it? Is it freaking worth it? So every once in a while, I find myself asking myself that question is if what I'm doing for a living is worth it. If driving for Amazon Flex program is worth it doing full time. Um, every once in a while, you feel like it's worth it when you go in for a four hour shift and then you end up almost finishing it in two and a half hours, three hours. And the money is more than a hundred dollars so it feels like it's worth it and you could be home an hour before the end of your block but trust me every once in a while you're gonna feel that pinch which is today for me um when you feel like it's way too much you feel like it's way too much to handle and if you'll find yourself asking uh, yourself an important question is this worth it is this really worth my time? Is, the, is it worth putting all these miles on my car, buying myself gasoline, you know, trying to figure it out, protecting myself in weather? For example, today, uh, as soon as I put on my GPS even to try to go back home, it was telling me that the route that I'm going to be actually going through may be affected by flood uh, warnings. So you can tell 
it, it, it gets to us. We are on security, we are on gasoline, we are on cars, we are on everything. And on top of that, sometimes it's actually even very hard to get these shifts. You know, you keep tapping the screen and the shifts are taken. So which means they have way too many people on board working. So it's a hassle to get the shifts to begin with. Um, and when you show up for work, in a row you get you know these kind of stinky blocks like multiples in a row you feel the pinch you literally feel the pinch you get yourself in um a situation where you feel like you're asking yourself a question if this is actually worth it because it gets to be too much it sometimes gets to be too much well, um, I've hit that block. I've hit that part where I feel like it's actually too much, you know. Um, but I'll still continue doing it. It's putting, it's what is kind of, uh, well, barely paying my bills, but it's kind of what is getting me going at this point. Um, I'll continue doing it. I'll continue updating you guys on how it's going and if actually i feel like i'm about to quit it because sometimes trust me it'll push you on the blinks of wanting to just you know throw in the towel and say you know what screw this i'm out i'm just gonna go out there and i'll fend for myself either way if you're doing gig work and it's what you decided to to do for you know for a living then you feel the pinch from all the sides because it does not matter what you're doing it feels like they all sit in the same meeting that tells them that let's quiz these guys you know what um to make sure that they feel the pinch and everywhere they run to is kind of the same because if you know if you've been doing this for a while now you know doordash sucks uh my last little shot you saw it says rest in peace doordash DoorDash sucks the way it is right now. Uber, I have not done Uber in a whole year now. Um, because they messed uh, with me a lot. They put on a program where they said, you're actually going to be getting this money if you finish this many trips. Uh, this was big time money. Uh, if you guys remember, if you were doing this at the end of uh, 2022, they put on a big thing towards the end of uh, uh, the year where they wanted us to be on the road, on the road. And I pumped on the road for more than four months of hard work. And then they said, oh, you can't get that premium right now. You're going to get that money at the beginning of almost uh, uh, March. So that was about four months later is when I hit, is when that money hit my bank. And I said, Ever since then, I'm never going to drive for Uber ever again because I felt like they were uh, promising air. And they were not very, being very... I know none of these people are very transparent at all. They are all not transparent. But that one for Uber hit me really, really hard. And um, I kind of had to give them, you know, the middle finger for a bit. Uh, and the bit turned into months and months turned into uh, years. And now I don't feel like I will ever do Uber ever again. I even left my account to be in bad standings at all because I never updated my paperwork and anything because I don't want to get entrapped by them anymore. Now, I, I, I have to stress that we do this as independent contractors so if i feel like you are not at par with what i actually signed up for i quit right away and i go to the next guy and the next guy which has been flexed now if it seems to be really uh, actually just hurting the way i operate i run from him i go to the next guy which may be instacart which may be anything you know uh, there is way too many options that's why they also are treating us like you know trash if you all don't know, this is Providence. This is the big city of Providence I am in right now. Um, every once in a while, they send me in here, right downtown Providence, and it actually sucks. It actually sucks. I literally have to document something 
uh, about this place, about U-turns. Every time you put something down, you have to do a U-turn. Like it's the most ridiculous thing in the entire universe. I don't know how that happens, that every time you have to put some down, you're going to have to to be doing a U-turn. It's ridiculous. But anyways, let me stay in my lane here for a bit. I'm going to go 95 North. Um, um, it hurts me to see that we actually put in a lot of work and we put in um, all our might. We show up for work with our own cars, with our own gasoline and everything, as you know. But then again, it feels like sometimes it's not enough. And it feels like we are just working for peanuts. It hurts sometimes. You feel like you just want to throw in the towel. But we still, you know, go hard and uh, wake up the next morning and keep pressing that phone to get another flex. You know, it is what it is. At this time, I want you to ask yourself a question that I'm asking myself as of today, which I have no answer for. You know, if somebody, if, if, if a brick hit me in the head right now and they ask me, are you going to be flexing tomorrow? I don't know. For now, I'll just continue pushing and just continue doing my best and hoping for the best, you know, to come out of it. I'll just keep squeezing the same lemon, lemon, um, and hopefully get different results. I'll just keep grinding even harder and see where actually um, I end up. But for now, I just want to let you know, I just want to let you guys know that I don't know the answer to the question, is this worth it? I don't know the answer to that question, you know? But if you ask me, like, at this moment, this is pressing a little bit. And thank you for watching. Thank you for subscribing. Thank you for liking. Thank you for continuing the conversation in the comment section below and not being very rude. <laughs> I've had a lot of rude comments. Like, oh, why don't you leave that job? Why don't you look for a real job? What did you expect? You an idiot, blah, blah, blah. Whatever people want to say. I don't care. I've been on the internet for a little bit and I know uh, people are very strong behind keyboards and at that point, I don't care what they say. So, but if you want to continue the conversation in a, a right way, uh, please go ahead and uh, let me know what you think in the comment section below. Is it worth for you guys? What has been your story? Are you continuing to do it? Where? Oh, oh, oh. And the other thing that actually I would like to know, where do you guys do it from? Do you do it in California? Is it in Florida? Where do you guys drive at? Uh, I recently got an um, actually a comment of a guy who does Uber in Australia. And he had a very good question. And I was actually thrilled to see that somebody was actually having their eyeballs on my video all the way uh, land down under. Right, so you guys let me know where you're working from, how it's going for you guys. But that's the update for the channel, and I'll be back again with more of these rambling and you know talking out of my you know what, uh, giving you guys updates and 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 just let's share the experience. Okay, let's keep the conversation going. It it, it actually helps us as um, as. Um, gig workers to know what the hell is going on to know that we're not into this just by ourselves but there's some other people that are going through what we're going through and you know keeps us stronger keeps us as a pack and who knows who knows where it ends up you know it always gives me some consolation to know that there's actually another person on the other side of the uh, you know what who's listening to me who's actually watching these videos and who's actually doing the same exact thing that I'm doing, squeezing the same lemon and we're getting a little bit of juice out of it. So thank you again for watching and I hope to see you again in the next video. Bye bye for now.